Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Corner One and how the Red Bull second drivers seem to struggle in the car. So, right, what our teammate Max Verstappen has, the second Red Bull driver seems to really struggle for some reason, just not on the same level as Max Verstappen, like Sergio Perez in qualifying yesterday. Yes, I know he, he's a bit more experienced than what Albon and Gasly was, so you've got to point out and point the finger at Perez too if he makes a mistake. As I said, he's got a bit more experience, so he's not immune from criticism. That mistake he did in qualifying was absolutely terrible. Completely messed up his qualifying run. And... Where he was stuck behind Lando Norris for so long in their last race, Hamilton, Bottas and Verstappen were literally gone. So, yep, yeah, I don't know what it is about the second Red Bull car. Is it just the curse of the second car? Or is it because Max Verstappen is clearly the main leader and he doesn't want another driver next to him during the race? I mean, but the second Red Bull driving has really got to step it up. If Red Bull want to have a good chance of changing Mercedes to the constructors, they really need their second driver to score points because I was very critical of Alex Albon last season in the Red Bull when he was nowhere near Max Verstappen. One thing though with Perez, he ha has outqualified Max Verstappen once already, and that was at Imola. It could be Perez who's just getting used to the Red Bull. But, you know, no excuse. The second driver has got to do better. If Red Bull want to have any shot of being champions again, they need both cars to be perfect. Because in the moment, you know, the second driver to me just doesn't seem to perform in the car. Like Perez, he spanned at San Marino and then dropped down the order. Messed up his qualifying lap yesterday. Oh dear me, you know. Perez, I do have a lot of respect for Perez, but as I said, you have to put blame on Perez. That was horseshit what he did in qualifying. And he needs to have a really good start to make sure that he's up there with Max Verstappen. Otherwise, the Mercedes are just going to run away with it again. If the Red Bull second driver just can't get it right, then Mercedes are absolutely going to start to pull away in this Constructors' Championship. So it's really vital that Perez steps it up and gives Mercedes a good fight. Because the Red Bull is a really quick car this year. It's got the potential to challenge Mercedes, but if Perez isn't high enough in the order, then it's obvious Mercedes are going to be favourites to win the championship. But I just don't know what it is about the second Red Bull driver, why they get so much bad luck. It's Perez, so he has looked happy in the car, but... Maybe get a few races, he'll definitely be up now with Max to happen, but he's got to step it up fast. Otherwise, like I said, Mercedes are just going to absolutely pull away from Red Bull and it, become, and it will be a one-horse race to the Constructors' Championship. Red Bull have got to take advantage because they have the car to do it and they need both drivers to be high up and to have any shots. A challenging for the constructors. But it baffles me why the second Red Bull driver is always struggling. In the comments, let me know down below why you think the second Red Bull car struggles. Like, Gasly, excuse me, Gasly needed to be dropped. And we're saying last season, Albon needed to be dropped. So they signed Perez up from. Racing Point, now known as Aston Martin. And as I said, he has outqualified to Max this happen, but it's not quite taken off yet for Perez. So I'm sure he will get it right. But anyway, comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. 
I'll see you later on my Formula One race with you. Bye-bye.